Welcome back to the shop for another episode of Cody Builds. On last week's episode, we started the preparation process for our coilover conversion kits. We removed all of the suspension bracketry in preparation for installation of the QA1 kits. On today's episode, we're going to be focusing on the front half of the frame. We're going to be removing some brackets and eventually we'll be cutting the cross member out. Now, in advance of today's work, I've come in here and I've removed some of the brake lines and the rear cross member. Uh, it just unbolts with three bolts. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to start removing some of the bracketry and the rivets on the front half of this frame. Now, the spring pockets are coming out. Basically, any rivets forward uh, the frame from the bed mounts are going to be removed. So any rivet that's on the front frame rails forward of these cab mounts is going to be removed. You are not supposed to remove any of the rivets that attach the cab mounts to the frame. So I'm going to get us set up and we're going to get right to work today. Now the first bracket we're going to be removing is the cross member, the rear cross member bracket. Uh, and that has four rivets. There's one here, one uh, kind of between the cab mount, and there's two on the bottom side of the frame. So we're going to do the same thing we did last week. We're going to use the air hammer and a chisel. Uh, we're going to chisel off the head of the rivet, and then we'll punch the rivets out individually, and that bracket should drop right off. So we'll start with this bracket, uh, and then I'll, we'll work our way forward um, up the front of the frame. I just wanted to point out uh, one thing that's making life a little bit easier on me and I think you can see here is after I get the rivet heads ground down uh, or well, well, chiseled off what I'm doing is coming back with the grinder and taking off uh, any remainder there is of the head and what you can kind of see here is the faint outline of the rivet and all of the metal around it is cleaned up as well so that tells me that I've gotten down past the head and I'm actually cleaning up the surface around the rivet contrast that with up here where you can see I've been grinding on this rivet uh, and none of this metal around is clean so what I'm doing is I'm just taking a grinding disc and cleaning this up until we get all the metal metal around it shiny and then I come back in with the air hammer air hammer and a punch and uh, that makes punching these rivets out much much easier
right, so that was a lot of work. We got all the rivets out of the frame, uh, all the brackets that we don't need off. The next step here is we need to brace the front frame rails because we're going to cut the cross member out. So the way in which we're going to do that is we're going to cut a piece of angle iron uh, to go across the rails here right over these bolt holes. I'm going to mark those holes on the piece of angle iron and we're going to drill the angle iron out and bolt those in solid. That'll keep these frame rails from uh, moving too much side to side. Then we're going to cut the cross member out. Um, I've made a decision here in the last few minutes. We're actually going to, once we get all that work done, we're going to send this frame out to be sandblasted. Um, you know, we had some frame issues in the back we needed to repair. Uh, and I turned the light on here. The driver's side of the frame looked really good. Um, the passenger side, this section where the spring pocket was, uh, is thin. Uh, it's pretty thin and you can might, might even see how wavy it is. Let me look down the frame here. Yeah, you can see where, uh, the frame is so thin. It was actually pulling the rivets back through the holes. And now this whole section of frame here is all wavy. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this frame out to be sandblasted. Uh, I could hit it with the wire wheel. I got a quote. It was cheap enough that um, it's not worth the time, the effort, and the mess because uh, I'm renting this garage uh, and half the stuff in here is not mine um, to, to, to mess around with wire wheels and um, grinding disks and all that stuff uh, and a lot of hours of labor and then a lot of hours of cleanup uh, just to have, you know, even a subpar version of what a sandblaster will be able to do for us. So we'll get the frame sandblasted and then uh, we'll come back, we'll do all the frame patching. And once that's done, uh, we're gonna prime and paint the frame. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of work to do here still yet uh, today. Well, we're, we're gonna go ahead and get that front end braced up with the angle iron. Uh, and then uh, I'll bring you back in when we mark out where we're gonna cut on the cross member. All right, we got the angle iron drilled out here. So we're gonna line this up right over these holes. Perfect, I'm gonna grab a couple bolts and we'll bolt that angle iron down. Okay, so we're going to mark out uh, exactly what we're going to cut off of this cross member. Now, the instructions from QA1 say that you don't have to cut out the entire cross member, but you do have to take out uh, the cross member as close as you can along the frame rail here, down the sides, and along the bottom. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. I'm just going to mark out some lines. Uh, the top one would be pretty easy. I'm just gonna run right down the frame here. I'm gonna put a straight edge along the back side of the frame from where the frame rail is uh, on the top and the bottom and just mark a vertical line there. Just so I have a guideline uh, to cut along. And you can use a torch on this. You can use a plasma cutter. Uh, I'm going to use an angle grinder just so we get nice clean cuts. So I'm gonna mark all four corners here and then uh, we'll get the angle grinder out with a cutoff wheel. And we will cut this cross member out. Once we're done with the cross member, the last thing I need to do today, I'm just going to go over the entire frame, pull off any um, any loose brackets, not necessarily brackets, we've got all the brackets and things off, but any loose uh, um, uh, 
brake line clips or gas line clips or anything like that that's on the frame. Any loose bolts that shouldn't be there, I'm going to go ahead and pull those out as well. Um, just to get all that out of the way for the sandblaster. So when I drop this off, they don't have to do anything extra because anything they have to do extra for prep, um, they're going to charge you for. So we're going to try to get as much um, of the prep work done. So once we drop this frame off, all they have to do is put it on the rack and blast the thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the angle grinder out now and we'll make our cuts. there you have it cross members out uh, I'm just gonna come back in with the flap wheel and clean this up just a little bit I'm not gonna go too nuts because um, we are gonna have to come in and do some patching in here and uh, uh, there's a few other things we have to do like this area where the frame is turned down here uh, we have to come in with a pipe wrench or something a leverage device and try and flatten the frame out here. Kind of similar to how on the back we still have uh, some of that frame where it's turned down to cut out. I'm gonna leave all that stuff until after we get our patches. So we've removed all of the major components that we need to remove from the frame before the QA1 install. Uh, we've got just a few more cuts to make in the frame and a few things to bend into place. And then we'll be ready for uh, the install of the actual kit. So, uh, yeah, I'll come in here. Like I said, I'm going to come in here with the flap wheel real quick, clean all this up, uh, and then we'll get this thing loaded up. We'll get it off to the sandblaster. That's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I do want to say, you know, I'm releasing these videos a few weeks behind when I'm filming them. So at the time of this filming, I just released a second video. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who watched my first video. It was beyond expect my expectations, like well beyond. You know, I was hoping to get, uh, you know, maybe 50 views. And uh, we've got a couple thousand views at the time that I'm filming this. And I'm so grateful to every one of you that took the time and watched the video, subscribed to the channel, and are back here watching these videos. You know, it, it just means so much to me that... Uh, there's there's people out there who enjoy what I'm doing and it makes me feel like I'm not wasting my time out here in the garage. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who aren't subscribed, subscribe, check it out. You know, we're, we're doing some cool things out here in the shop. 
Uh, next time, when we're back, we're going to be working on the rear differential. The frame's going to be out of the garage for a few weeks. When it comes back, it's going to be nice, clean, sandblasted. We'll get to uh, the repairs on the frame when it gets back. But uh, while it's out of the shop, we're going to clean up in here. We're going to tear apart the rear differential, see what parts we need to acquire for that. Uh, clean up the housing, get it painted, get it ready to go back in the chassis once we have the chassis back here in the shop. All that said, uh, come back. Come back next week, check out our videos. I'll see you then.